Hello everyone. Uh, here we are again talking about some of the PEPS equipment that you can check out. And this one is going to be talking about the new Kodak Play ZI-10's Play Touch cameras. Uh, the nice thing about these cameras is they're very, very small. They are slab sized. They're sort of like holding a cell phone when you're making video. And they shoot freakishly good video. It's kind of amazing. <clears throat> so what we're going to talk about is the basics first. Uh, they're really quick, quick and dirty getting you shooting these videos as fast as possible. And then we're going to go into a little bit more in depth. So I'll tell you to stop watching the video if you're done watching or to continue on after that with a couple of more in-depth things. Um, so <clears throat> the Kodak ZI-10s uh, come standard with uh, the camera, which obviously makes sense. A cool little bag that the camera lives inside of. Inside of the case, there's also a USB cable power adapter setup. And just to make really clear here, this is not to go into the computer. It is to go into the wall. So this USB actually has a little teeny plug thing. It's specifically made to uh, go into, oops, let's flip that over, plug into the wall, and then this little guy plugs into the Kodak. <clears throat> um, if I just open up this weird thingy, um, here's where it goes, this little guy here. There's also a mini HDMI port on these things, and the cool thing, of course, is this little guy. This is, ooh, come on, how you actually get the stuff from the camera into your computer. It has a built-in USB. Um, do not use this USB, use this one to get stuff into the computer, just so we're clear. On the other side of the camera is where the SD card goes. In all of our cameras at PEPS, we actually include 16 gigabyte SD cards. Um, we know that they're 16 gigabyte SD cards, so if you bring it back and we check the card and it looks like a 512K one, we know that you are trying to steal a nice big SD card from us. That's mean, don't do that. So I'm gonna put the card back in there. It won't go in if it's not facing the right way, so just make sure you put it in the right way and it should be happy. And now I'm awkwardly having problems getting the dang thing back in there. There we go. I was right the first time. That's typical. <clears throat> the camera also included with all this kind of stuff, it actually should have a battery inside of the camera. And because Peps is a nice place and we're very friendly people, we also do also include a second battery. This is basically to keep you shooting for as long as possible. Um, so you should always just keep in mind, two batteries, SD card, little pouchy thing, the cable, charger, and of course, a big case. On the case is the bag tag. It actually says what thing it is. It's a flip style video camera, Kodak ZI-10. And on the flip side, it has a whole bunch of numbers. Well, yeah, this is actually um, how much all this stuff costs inside of this bag. And we want you to make sure that all this stuff is in here, included in the set when you pick it up and back when you bring it back. So just make sure all these things are actually in the case when you return it to PEPS and no one will argue with you. Um, if you actually check this stuff out and let's say, oh no, there's no extra second battery. Um, since we have two batteries on tag, you can talk to the PEPS worker and say, hey man, I want my second battery, and then they will actually include it in the bag for you. Um, some stuff happens occasionally, so just keep an eye on us. We'll keep an eye on you and everyone's happy. All right, so that being said, let's kind of quickly go into this just so you have an idea of how to use the Playtox camera. Um, it has uh, the lenses up here. On the very top, it has a uh, mountain setting. I don't know if you can actually see that. That's pretty awful. And a uh, flower setting. Mountain would be for this regular video, and flower would be for extreme close-up video. Um, that's your only choice right there on top. Uh, generally, you're going to want to leave it on mountain. On the top also, there is a headphone jack, and uh, it's also where you can plug in a mic. We'll talk about that with the advanced setting for right now. The basics, we're going to skip over the mic stuff and just say, hey, you can plug in headphones if you want to. You'll notice we don't include headphones. Um, I'm assuming that you have headphones somewhere with your iPod or some other kind of music player. On the back is um, a single button and then a touch screen. And the touch screen is actually how you'll do most of your fun stuff. Um, the power is on the side right above the SD card. And you'll see that it turns on. Um, so to record, you push the button. It's going to start recording. It lights up. On the far side, it has a little red light that bleeps. 
That tells the person that you're pointing it at that, hey, yes, it is actually recording, and it does a really good job. It has a zoom. You can zoom in, and you can zoom back out again. And you can do all that while you're shooting. If I stop it, it's now made a recording. You'll see it has a couple of different things. It has a play button, so that will play the video that I just recorded. It actually turns it sideways, and then you can hit play. And look, you can hear it. So that's all that does. Um, <clears throat> you can trash it. You can cut it. So you can do actually on-edit, on-camera editing, which I think is pretty cool. So that's all those kind of things. So if I push that button, it brings me back to the main setting again. Um, you have different types of cameras you can choose. Uh, if this is showing, it means it's a still camera. It's going to make a single picture. If it's on this, it's an actual video camera. And you'll see that it actually just flashed really briefly WVGA. Um, if I click the settings, you can actually decide a whole bunch of different stuff here. I'm just going to quickly go over the video resolutions. Here are your choices. You can have wide VGA, which is standard definition, high def 720, high def 720 was 60 um, frames per second, and high def 1080p. Um, I'm just going to tell you, be really honest with you folks, at Carleton, when you're borrowing one of these cameras from PEPS, chances are you're turning in a class assignment, or you're just shooting some fun with your friends, or you're doing something for the web. Um, you don't need to shoot in HD. You just do not. Uh, wide VGA is going to be plenty good. It's going to be decent video. It's uh, good for web, good for YouTube, good for yourself, keeping around. It's not a huge file, so it won't take up a whole bunch of room in your computer. Um, you're going to want to leave it at wide VGA. The longer, the more settings you have, if you go all the way up to high def 1080, you're actually going to lose a whole bunch of, if I hit stop here, and go back to this, you're actually going to have fewer minutes available, two hours and two minutes available to shoot video. Uh, it's not a very long time. Whereas if I go back to the settings and change back my video resolution to the wide VGA, oops, <laughs> video resolution, wide VGA, and then close this off, um, it'll tell us how much time, look, 8 hours and 31 minutes. That's a lot of video that you can shoot if you have on regular standard definition widescreen. So just keep that in mind. That's probably what you're going to want to shoot in. Um, that's basically it. Uh, push that to record. It's going to make a nice little video. Um, when you're done, turn off the camera Oops. with the power button. It's going to turn off. Then you're going to go after your USB, which is in here. Plug it into your computer, and it will come up. It will turn itself on as a little mini hard drive, and you can drag your videos right off of the camera into your computer. So that's kind of the basic. If you want to know a little bit more about this camera or some, some sort of accessories you can get for it, um, keep watching.